Xbox streamers. Did you know you can stream your Xbox to YouTube, Kick, and Twitch all without a capture card or PC? Let me show you how to do it. So this is a long awaited update to the video that I did on this before, way back in like 2021 or something like that. So I found a new app and uh, also the Xbox companion app works now or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and use that to stream to our phones, then to YouTube, Twitch, or Kick, all three of them. If you want, it has multi-streaming capabilities. Let's jump into our phones and I'll show you exactly what you need to download. So this is gonna be from the perspective of the iPhone. I'm sorry, my Android guys, I don't have an Android. Switched a long time ago, but you can still get these apps on Android. On the app store in your phone, you want to go ahead and download the Xbox app. And we're also going to download the Prism live streaming app. So once you download the Xbox app, you want to go ahead and log in. So on your Xbox, you want to go to your Xbox settings by scrolling all the way over to your icon here and going to settings. And in settings, you want to go down to devices and connections and then go to remote features and make sure you enable remote features. This checkbox right here is checked on. You should come up to this page here. If you're on Wi-Fi, you know, this definitely will work better if it's on uh, Ethernet. So back in the Xbox app on your phone, there is a Xbox symbol at the very top right of the screen next to the bell icon. You want to go ahead and click that and then you see where it says remote play uh, on this device. You want to go ahead and tap that, hit continue, and you should get it to pair to your Xbox and you will see that it's actually trying to set, tell you that you could actually set up your Xbox controller to your phone. So let me show you how to do that real fast. So on your Xbox controller, there is a little sync button on the back. It's the same button you use to sync your controller to your Xbox. You want to hold that down until the Xbox button starts to flash and it actually paired to my PC when it wasn't supposed to. Let me actually stop that. But in your phone, once you have the uh, Xbox symbol blinking here. You want to find your Xbox controller on your phone and other devices down there, you should see your Xbox controller. You wanna go ahead and tap that and it will connect to your Xbox controller. And now you have your Xbox paired to your uh, phone and then you can swipe it back and go and reconnect to your console. So next we wanna go ahead and set up the streaming app on your phone. So go ahead and open up that app Prism Live and it's going to prompt you to actually set up your account here. Once you have it set up, you should be uh, ready to go. You want to be getting to the screen here where you see your camera. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and click screen um, record here, the screen button down at the bottom. And it will ask you, you know, which orientation you're in. We're going to go ahead and select landscape. And you can already see I've, I kind of already had a uh, overlay kind of set up here, but you can do a lot of stuff in this app, like set up overlays. Um, I have a Twitch chat overlay set up down there and it's giving me a little preview of what that looks like. You can actually set up a bunch of different stuff. Um, you know, you can do a web source, your chat from your streams. You can also do images and you can actually do this little VTuber thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, but these are the settings. We're just going to go with this for right now. So it's actually capturing the screen and it's ready to go. All you actually need to do to go live is come down here back to the main screen. You want to keep it rotated on landscape. And once you're ready to go live, you're going to click the button down here and you want to go ahead and set up your channels by going to my channels and you can add a new platform. And here are all the places where you can stream to on here. You can also stream to a custom RTMP, which is, you know, putting in your URL for that, your stream key and whatnot. Um, but you can already connect your Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and all the other streaming apps on here. Uh, for our purposes today, we're just going to do a YouTube, um, but you can set up your Twitch by just logging into your Twitch or getting your Twitch uh, RTM, RTMP uh, URL and doing it that way. But as you can see, I already have my YouTube set up and it's already checked, so we are ready to go. All you have to do is set, click, go live. But before you do that, you want to go ahead and set up the actual stream on the site. So you could do that by clicking that little calendar symbol and you should come up to the screen where you see schedules and you can see you, where you can create new um, schedule stream. We're going to have this set up to stream immediately, but this is going to be a test. So you can do all your settings here that you usually would do in YouTube. 
You can also upload a thumbnail. Uh, you can go ahead and do a scheduled stream. So this is what you should be seeing on your phone. You wanna go ahead and hit this start uh, broadcast button. Once you do that, you should be live on YouTube, Twitch, or wherever you're streaming. Cool, once you start streaming to YouTube, you want to go ahead and go back to the Xbox app. You're gonna see that you're disconnected. It's all good. You wanna just go ahead and reconnect back to your Xbox by going to the Xbox symbol, reconnecting to remote play, and you should see it come up right here. Now we are, you know, we got it going here, and the stream is also going. Quality is not gonna be that great, guys. This is all without a capture card, so we're not capturing in 1080p with 60 frames and no frame drops, all on Wi-Fi. This is the best that it's gonna, it's gonna get <laughs> for this, so definitely take this with like, you know, a little grain of salt that it's perfect. This isn't the most perfect way to stream. This is just a way to stream without a capture card until you get one. I'm making sure we get audio here. You will actually realize I'm making that sure we get audio here. Yeah. You will actually realize I'm that sure we get audio here. Yeah. So um it's gonna it's gonna create double audio because it's so it's so difficult to record this for you guys. Let me um so the reason why I'm not pulling audio right now is because I have the YouTube video muted down here. And it's because uh, if I turn it YouTube on video muted down here, you'll see it gets two sets of audio coming in and I don't want that. <laughs> so uh, just trust you're gonna be getting audio from here. But yeah, you probably are wondering how you're going to hear the stream or hear your gameplay and how you're gonna talk to your party chat and all that. It's, what's really cool is this Prism app actually pushes um, all the audio from the Xbox companion app into your stream and the Xbox companion app picks up your headset or your microphone, whatever you're using, audio and pushes that to Xbox. You're talking to your stream and you're talking to your party and game chat and all that stuff. And it's all through your phone, through the remote play. So yes, I highly recommend you go ahead and use, you know, any, you know, headphones you have. So you wanna go ahead and unmute your mic and that's gonna be by clicking those dots in the top uh, left corner of the screen and clicking the three dots and going to the muted mic here, you wanna go ahead and unmute that. And then go ahead and hit that back button and you should see the little microphone uh, above the guy there. <laughs> That's me talking. So you now you have audio coming in and you also have audio going to your stream, which is super cool. That man's is dead. I'm about to get into a fight, boys. What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know you actually can multi-stream with this app. All you have to do is go to your my channels and then you want to go ahead and add another connection another platform to your account you see i added twitch now once you add your new channel you just want to go ahead and toggle it on and then your multi-stream will be on uh and then all you have to do is just go live and you'll be live on both platforms and that's how you can stream your xbox to youtube twitch kick wherever you want to stream it all at the same time without a capture card and without a PC. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like the video and also subscribe for more content like this. Also, I have a free community for you guys. Down in the description below, you can hop in and squad up with other content creators and streamers. I'm gonna be in there too. And I also have a free course for you. Inside this course, I show you my exact process to making videos that always continuously get views. It actually got me my first 1000 subscribers and monetization in like 30 days which is super cool. I want to give you guys that, but it's inside the community. So hop in, grab that course, and hopefully that helps you guys out. Like I said before, this method is just to get your feet wet for streaming. But if you're ready to get your capture card, go ahead and check out this video over here where I show you all the different capture cards from cheapest to most premium and uh, compare and contrast them. Go ahead and check out that video and I'll see you over there.